Denny, and I'm going to show you how to make a video using nothing but a cell phone. So uh, in order to show you a little bit about my phone here, I'm going to have to cut away and go to my camcorder. This is my phone. It is an LG 8300, and it has built into it a 1.3 megapixel camera right there at the very top of the phone and uh, if you're going to be using your phone to take videos with then uh, the buttons here the control buttons are right on the side you have the camera button here and you have a slot for a micro SD card now you could take a video with the internal memory in the camera phone rather uh, but you'd probably want to get an SD card and put it in this little slot in the side. So in order to do that, you're going to get yourself a micro SD card. And that is very tiny. And it looks like that. This happens to be one gigabyte. You can get them in a variety of different sizes. And that little card is going to fit in this slot in the side of the phone. Just plug it in like this. Now, once you have the memory card in your phone, you want to go and set the camera settings so that uh, it saves your video on the card and not on the phone memory. So you're going to go through your men menu options and make sure that you've got that setting. Also, to activate your camera, you're going to push this button on the side right here one time. That puts you into the uh, still picture mode and a second push will put you into the video mode. I'm going to go to the options button and uh, go down to where it says time limit and you want to make sure that it's set for available memory rather than 15 seconds so otherwise your camera will shut off in 15 seconds so available memory will allow your camera to keep recording until the memory card is used up so once you've got these settings in your camera you can uh, begin shooting a movie with it. Now you're ready to start making a movie with your cell phone. Record some video and uh, we'll put it into Windows Movie Maker. Unfortunately, Movie Maker does not accept the format that most cell phones take pictures in. So we'll have to take the video from the memory card, transfer it to the computer, and then we're going to convert it into something that Movie Maker can use, and then we'll be able to assemble a film. When the video is ready to go on your phone, it's time to transfer the video files from the phone into your computer. Now, it depends on your phone, but some phones have a uh, cable that you can connect with into the uh, plug. Uh, other phones, you might want to email the uh, files to yourself. In my case here, I am using that uh, micro SD card. So what I've done is I've uh, removed the card from the uh, card slot here, and you can see it right down here. And uh, I'm going to take this card and put it into my um, card reader. Now, the card reader will not accept a micro SD card, so I'm going to use a uh, SD adapter, a micro card adapter, put the uh, micro SD card into the adapter and this adapter I can then plug into uh, my computer and transfer the files that way. Once the files have been put into the memory card and the computer locates the memory card, I'm going to open the folder that holds those files and uh, it's the My Flix folder. So I double click that and locate the files that I would like to copy to the computer. In this case, I'm going to move this group of files 
and I'm going to put them in the YouTube folder. So I click Edit, Move to Folder. Now I need to locate the folder in this dialog box. Scroll down till I find it. It's way at the bottom. YouTube. Click Move. The files will now be transferred from the memory card onto the computer. And then I'm ready. Here you can see my video files. And you'll note that they are 3G2 format. Now Movie Maker doesn't recognize that, so there's a website that will convert these from 3G2 to AVI. I'm going to convert uh, this file right up here uh, to an AVI file. I'm going to go to the internet. And we're going to a website called MediaConvert.com. That's Media-Convert.com. Click the Browse button. I'm going to locate my file. And uh, I will click on it. Click the Open button. Notice that Media Convert knows that it is a 3G2 file. I'm going to select an output format by moving down the window here and select Windows and it'll be an AVI file. Click the OK button. The file will begin to upload to the Media Convert website. The screen will change and the video will be processed into an AVI file. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the process to complete. When it's complete, it will show me a uh, place where I can download, and uh, I will click that. It's coming up right now. There it is. My file is finished converting. I click here to download the file, and I'm going to save it to my computer. Click the Save button. The file is transferred. When this transfer is complete, I'll be able to use this trans, uh, transform video in Movie Maker. My apologies for any sound issues I may be having. So there you go. Now you know that you can take a video with your cell phone, transfer that video into your computer, send your video off to MediaConvert.com, convert it into something that Windows Movie Maker can accept. Now you can make a feature-length movie using nothing but your cell phone. There are categories, by the way, in many film festivals for cell phone videos. Keep that in mind. If you want to know more about Movie Maker, check out some of my other videos that I also have on my YouTube website. So, have fun. Enjoy your video making. Now I can get out from in front of this bathroom mirror. See you on the other side. Take care. Bye-bye.